Oh, you think I'm funny? Funny like a clown? What, I amuse you? Is that what you're saying to me? Hey, oh, if you don't love that movie, then I, you're not from Jersey, you're not from New York. And if you're not, that's okay, watch the movie, it's still great. But I think I found one of the best Italian spots in Atlanta. Are they Italian? I don't know, I'm about to find out. So you keep watching and we'll find out together. Capiche? So I, of course, you know, it's a personal pan pizza. Mm -hmm. It's more of a uh, Chicago style pizza. Ah, okay. You know, as the pizza gets bigger, it gets a little thinner. You know, everything, of course, is made, you know, every day from scratch. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, all our sauces, uh, dough, everything. Mm -hmm. you know, we use top of the line cheese. Mm -hmm. We sell a lot of them. I love it. I mean, sometimes, you know, if you don't want to commit to it a full time, this is just a great oh, pizza. Oh, yeah, this is great. Day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, order, eat, and you're good. Yeah, absolutely. It's a place I reviewed in Knoxville, Tennessee. I think it was like, Gandolfi's or something? Uh, Gondolier Pizza. Gondolier, thank yes, you. That's Gondolier the, Pizza, yeah, it. Tennessee. That's what this is reminding me of. Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh my gosh. I am so happy right now. That's a lot of mozzarella, and I'm loving it. The sauce, like it's not super salty, it's just, it's so perfect. The, the bread, a little doughy, but I like it. Yes. I remember giving them a great pizza. Yeah. Great pizza. Yeah. Uh, the original founder of Gondolier was a very good friend of mine. Oh, nice. For, for many years, for nice. 25 years. He just recently passed away. Oh, my God. But, uh, what, what was his name? His name was uh, Bill Sudis. Sudis. Yeah, Sudis. Sudis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, he was a Greek guy, great guy, one of the best guys I've ever met. More like a mentor. Of, of course. And through him, I got to meet a few other, you know, people who own Gondolier Pizzas. They have one on uh, Woodstock, but they recently oh. changed the name to uh, Dina's Italian Restaurant. Yeah. Same people, but, oh, okay. you know, just, I guess the franchise ended, I don't, I'm not sure. Sure. I believe he's been there for almost 25 years. That's amazing. Yeah, right there yeah. in Woodstock, yeah. Wow. That's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, small world, right? It is, isn't it? That's I mean, great. Right off the bat, you said, hey, yeah. Absolutely. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying that. What are your thoughts on the, the apple, apple cheesecake? I think that's what it's called. Which, man, I mean, that looks, yes. that looks phenomenal. You know, every three days, first cheesecakes, actually, they sell out. So, <laughs> that's awesome. you know, yeah, we sell a lot of cheesecakes. Probably sell about 40 cheesecakes a week. Forty cheesecakes. Yeah, that yeah, is pretty yeah. impressive. I mean, the weight is there too, so yes. you know this is yes. this is authentic. This is awesome. One hundred percent. Awesome, John. Yes. Well, John, it was very nice to meet you, man. Pleasure. Yeah, nice I'm looking forward to, to trying this right now. So. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, Dig in. We'll do. Manja. All right. Well, I'm here in Marietta, Georgia, at Goodfellas. Goodfellas, and I just found out some really great news. There used to be a location in downtown Atlanta. I thought it shut down. But turns out, the company was sold about six, seven years ago by John, the owner. They switched locations, and this is the new location. So I am glad that this is the new location. So uh, John, great guy, a Greek, Greek Orthodox, turns out he's from Long Island, to, from Staten Island, but also Queens. He's from Astoria, which is where I actually used to go to church. Small world, a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, on to the pizza. I decided to get their personal pie, which is their eight, eight inch, and I believe it's a Ten dollar, ten dollar, and it's it's got some weight to it. Check it out. Right there, look at that. It smells really good too. It smells like the old days of Pizza Hut, not the new days. Old days were like classic, classic pizza. It smells really, really good. All made with fresh ingredients daily. Anyway, so let's try this pizza out. This looks great. Oh yeah, this is fluffy. I know some of you over there are going to be like the Portnoy followers. Look, I love Portnoy. I think he's great. But I don't think only his preferred style of pizza deserve nines or eights. But this is, I mean, look at that. That nice, like, cheese looks great. Crust looks phenomenal. I mean, look at, even look at that undercarriage. I think this is going to be very similar to Gondolier. So first bite's the one that counts when you're starving. Hmm. Oh, yeah. The cheese, the sauce, the sauce, the combination between the, I wouldn't say it's got a little bit of tanginess to it, which is really nice. And I don't know if you can see it, but some of the grease is coming through right there, right onto the crust. If you're afraid of grease, why are you eating pizza? If you like pizza, embrace the grease. The grease is good. If it tastes good, it tastes good. That's all that matters. Hmm. 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 Mm. Thank you so much. You some mama's meatballs? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Brie. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brie. Wow. I guess this is going to be a longer review. 
I was just given um, by Brie, my server, some mama's meatballs, complimented by the owner. This is great. This is wonderful. I'm so grateful. That's so cool. Okay. So, yeah, this sauce, I'm telling you, like, I got a, a lot of it on that bite. If he told me some member of his family just made that this morning and brought it in, I'd believe him. That's how authentic it is. Mm. The crust is wonderful. I mean, you're getting the crispiness on the top, but fluffiness on the inside. So that's not gonna cut your palate. Mm. That is wonderful. So this cheese pizza, personal size, oh, that is really, really good. I'm gonna give it a, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a 9.5. 9.5, that's, that's big, that's big. I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. Now, the very unexpected meatball review. I mean, look at this presentation. Look at that presentation. That is beautiful. I haven't had meatballs in a really long time. So, oh, this is beautiful. I love it. John, thank you so much for the for, for this. It's such a such a gift. I appreciate it. It looks wow. looks awesome. It looks so so good. Best some, meatballs ever, right there. Best meatballs ever. All right, all right. The man said it. The man said it. Ma oh, your mom's recipe. Mama's recipe. So obviously it's gonna be the best one in the world. All right, let's try it out. It smells really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So it's tender. I mean, this would be amazing with spaghetti and meatballs. I mean, alone on its own. Oh, let me get a little bit with um with the sauce. I don't, have I eaten anything with a fork and a knife yet on the channel? I don't think so. This is really good. It's got a nice little kick to it. Fantastic flavor profile. Oh. Right now I'm imagining sitting inside of a Italian restaurant in Queens, actually in Astoria. There was a place where I performed for a friend's wedding and it was just kind of food. Wow, maybe I gotta stop, I gotta stay away from cheese, cheese steaks and start going to more authentic fine dining food. Mm. These are wonderful. Oh my gosh. I'm very happy about this. Meatballs? Um, I know you guys are going to be getting in the comments and you're going to be like, bro, what is up with these high scores? It's because why am I going to go to places that are okay or haven't gotten there yet? John, 13 years, the original Goodfellas and from New, from New York. He's bringing the TLC there. Like this is, this is wonderful. So the meatballs, I'm going to give him 9-6 because I haven't had meatballs yet on the channel. <laughs> this is great. This is so awesome. All right. Mama's meatballs, uh, $8.95. So I mean $8.95 for this treat? Come on. Are you kidding? Come on. You know what's good for you. Okay. So last but not least, they have loads of desserts. They have a bunch of cheesecakes. John was mentioning that they usually go through, I believe he said 40 or 50, I think 40 cheesecakes a week. They sell very fast. I wanted to get something that was, I guess, a little non-traditional. So I decided to go with their apple cheesecake right there. So it looks pretty much like a, a normal New York cheesecake. Like I mentioned, the weight is there. It's got a little bit of glaze on the side over here and some apples right up top. So let's try this baby out. First, before we get into the apple, I'm, I just have to get the New York side. Just plain old cheesecake. Oh, so good. That crust, the graham crusher crust, not overly sweet, which I'm glad. And surprisingly, for it literally being a heavy slice, it doesn't seem heavy when eating it. It's got a very light body to it. It's got a light body, that's all I can say. Okay, make sure I'm getting enough apple. And by the way, this place has got a really chill vibe. They got a cigar lounge, so if you like cigars, every now and then, I like having a cigar. I'm still realizing that I'm not supposed to inhale. What's the point? I mean, you inhale a cigar, you get a really cool buzz. It's cool. I like it. All right, that looks good. Mmm. Suddenly, this customer near me was mouthing something. <laughs> the way you mouth, it almost sounded like you said, "Close your mouth." Close your mouth when you're chewing. <laughs> um, it's called... Oh, it's no, it's no problem. I like organic stuff like this. It's Starving Actor Food Reviews. Uh, it's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Is this your first time here? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. What'd you guys get? Mmm. The wings did look pretty good here. Just, just by the description and the photos. Oh man, this, this is wonderful. Appreciate the support, man. Yeah, so this cheesecake, pretty good. It's interesting that there's apples in it. I'm a big fan of apple pie. So uh, obviously I'm already gonna lean towards a higher score because I love apples and I love apple pie. So mixing that with the cheesecake, it's just a great combination. Guys, you have a wonderful day, okay? I, again, I appreciate the support. Yep. So this is really good. I think I like the cheesecake more than the, the apples, but together, it's still great. I'm gonna give it an 8.9. This cheesecake, I, 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 it's so good. If it was the cheesecake just alone, yeah, it's getting a 9.6. It's getting a 9.6. I'm not, I'm sorry, not sorry. It's just, you get this graham cracker crust. It's phenomenal. So, mm, mm. so this has been wonderful. So guys, I know you're booking a trip to Atlanta. I know what's happening. Take the extra drive, what is it, 20 minutes north of the city, but come check this place out. The lounge is just so great. The seats are wonderful, it's very comfortable, it's cozy, the staff's great, owner's really awesome. And again, the Scar Lounge, all that. Come try some amazing food, support this guy who's obviously from New York, he's Greek, I'm Russian, also a little bit South American. But hey, bring all cultures in here for a love of Italian food, and I will see you on the next review. Don't forget to subscribe. I, there was a guy right here who subscribed while I was eating. So why don't you subscribe while I was eating? Go ahead and do it. I'll see you on the next review.